What's good? What's up, everyone? It's your boy Fest Show here, and today we are back with final of a die trying. Listen, fuck the intro. We're gonna get straight into it. It's hardly a surprise, but I didn't sleep well last night. Who could after what happened? Yeah, last year went down last episode. I can't lie. And just like that, we're on to another. On to day three. I gotta thank you, Fest Show. You're making my job easy. I actually got to spend my nights doing productive things now or get to spend my nights productive fuck you I'm happy to help with that however that works you alright? you don't seem to have the usual energy careful Fesher one slip up with Cat and this is all over I'm good thanks Cat I just didn't get to sleep very well happens to the best of us anyway it goes without saying that Yubi is definitely a contender to the final cer uh, ceremony, huh? Yeah, we will see. Yeah, we will see. I'm not just sure yet. Oh, really? That's a surprise. Well, not my problem. Anyway, who's today? Who today's unlucky girl? And yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. So, who should I be asking on a date tomorrow? Honestly, joking aside, I think you should ask Violet. Really? I don't think she's in any shape to put on this good show. I mean, yeah, I really forgot to do it, but it's crazy. I mean, we need all of us to be able to work together, well, to get out of here, right? I don't think Violet would be able to un until she's feeling better. And what better way to do that? Then for a date to make it feel special. Terra does have a good point. I I always make good great points. Shit. Like seeing if I could arm wrestle one of the zombies Scarlet made. That went great. I remember that. Wait, I was the zombie. That was not a good idea at all. Can I take of my vote back? What do you think, Fisher? I like the idea. We could kill two birds with one stone. I'm not sure there's something that we could do to help us escape. That we could, that we could only do on a date with Violet. Hmm. I've got it. Tomorrow, you're going to be going on a date. With, you're going to be going on a date with Violet. Here's what you're gonna do. Violet. I've always wanted to spend more time with her, and there's no time like the present. We'll make it happen. I do have one small request though. What's that? And will it give me a ratings? I think it will. Then let's hear it. I've noticed Violet being a little down lately, so I wanted to cheer her up. I heard that she really likes cooking, especially in groups. Would you mind if we cooked with the staff at noon? I don't see why not. Let's hope it goes better than the last time. Oh, hi Fesho. Why'd you bring me here? I'm in a bit of a predicament. You see, I may have made an irresponsible bet. I did not take you for a gambler. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not. But the thing is, I heard the cooks bragging that they were the best chefs in the, on the island. But hey, I tried the food you've made before. I know nobody else could come close to how good you are. So, I may have challenged them all to a competition in your name. You are ridiculous, Fisher. Violet laughed out loud. Lol. There's, there's a smile I like, this. I like so much. It was nice to see it, see it again. Are you being serious? Dead serious. In a few hours, hundreds of staff are going to come to here. Some of them as challenging cooks. Some of them as judges, and the rest of them looking for lunch. All of them, hungry. Think you're up for the challenge? I am ready to crush the opposition. They will rue the day they challenge me. That's the value I like to see. Anyway, what's the theme of the contest? I can't tell you just yet. It'll be announced when it's cooking time. I do like a challenge. Would you care to stay with me as I prepare for the festivus? 
or festivities, festivities, I think was what it said. Of course, Violet. Thank you, Fisher. I know we're doing this, and I, I know why you're doing this, and I appreciate it. I'm not ready to talk about it just yet, but I feel happy, happy already knowing you are looking out for me. I'm always going to be here for you. And I for you as well, Fisher. We spend the time before the contest just talking about pleasant things, completely, completely unrelated to the show, completely unrelated to anything of the consequence. Sometimes, when bad things happen, what you need most is just a semblance of normalcy. Normalcy, damn. damn. I ain't seen these niggas in a, in a minute, like not all of them like this. By the time noon rolled round, hundreds of staff members were filling up the kitchen. I don't want to face you, Violet, but I will if I must. Oh, you're challenging me? Like a snail, challenging the mighty eagle. You may, you have my request, or respect. Yep, eep. It is well, too late to change sides. Or is it too late to change? Fuck you know. Eep, is it too late to change sides? You're going down, Violet. We're the Brothers Five, the best chefs on the island. What's that? What's that too? What I meant to say is, wow, you're really the best chef on the island. That's right. Damn it, bros. You can't let her intimidate you like this. If we do, she's really won. Say something, for. We will meet on this battlefield, Violet. I can't read that word. You may have my brothers running for the hills, but not me and five. Come at me. Let us bandish our forks against each other. Pause. Five, do you have anything to say? Wait. What's happening? I do hope you entertain me, brothers. Violet raised the pan towards them. And let us begin. It's time for the cook-off to end all cook-offs. Each cook will cook their own version of a mystery dish. A dish that I will soon reveal for the first time ever. The judges will be everyone who is not a contestant. You must be joking. There's hundreds of people here. How could we ever feed everybody? That's not my problem. And I definitely didn't come up with the rules for, of this tournament uh, on the spot. Liar. Violet laughed once more. That was enough to keep this charade going. The mystery dish would be spaghetti and meatballs. I had that at a restaurant yesterday, but it's mincemeat. Ain't that some shit? Like taking candy from a baby. Of course, I read that shadow hedgehog voice. This is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. Not this again. Oh, God, I think I'm gonna faint. One collapsed on the ground, pussy. One down, four to go. Whoa! I knew we should have been accountants. Why are we fooling ourselves? You each have one hour. No late submissions will be accepted. Let the games begin. The contest from the the contestants that were still conscious washed over together ingredients. How are they going to make that much food? I'm sure they'll figure something out. I watched each of them cook furiously at breakneck speed. Vala was hard at work, street street sweat streaming down her face with the biggest smile I've ever seen all day. I couldn't help but smile as well. At the same time, Thor was just trying to cook his spaghetti with only a microwave. I'm not sure this will be too much of a contest. One minute left. Violet filled hundreds of laid out bowls with spaghetti and meatballs in a matter of moments. If you blinked, you missed her finish a whole row. Each looked both delicious and artistic. You would have to th you would have thought a cook would have spent much longer than an hour putting each of them together. Five settled on making a bout. Four had a half bowls. I guess everyone has their own pace. Time's up! It's time to judge. The crowd cheered as we, they stamped their stamped to us. The crowd cheered as they stamped 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 it did. The crowd cheered as they stamped it did. What? To the laid out bowls. They were practice practically salvaging. 
that that spelling that shit threw me off so badly. Your brain, your brain doesn't fucking work, you 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 idiot. After everybody wolfed down the bowls from each of the contestants, they submitted their vote. The people have spoken, and with a run resounding majority, our first ever winner of the best chef on the island in the middle of nowhere award is Violet. The crowd cheered, myself included. I did it, me, I did it. Violet jumped up and down with joy. I felt, I felt like a kid in a candy store, just from one of, just from one look at her. You won for? So, oh, that's crazy. You won fair and square. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, your food was the best I'd ever had. Though, if you consider our living standards, that doesn't mean too much. Hey, I just had an idea. What if we get Violet to cook for the staff at lunch instead of us? Seriously, it's been years since we had our real food. What's that supposed to mean? Honestly, I think it's a great idea. I know I, I know I hide it well, but I really have no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. <laughs> no way, bro. Violet and I took one look at each other and couldn't just help but laugh. I would love to, guys. The crowd's enthusiasm reached a level of uproarious applause. Violet, 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 Violet. Oh goodness, I, you're too kind. I put my arm around her and smiled. Guess you've done, got a new job now, Violet. I guess I do. I, Violet, needed to kiss me on the lips. Whoa, for a moment, time stood still. And the only thing you could hear was the crowd's cheer getting even louder. Violet! 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 Sorry. We laughed together. I've had so much fun today, Fisher. Thanks to you. Care to join me by the beach after we clean this place up? Yeah, for sure. I will see you there then. Hey. She reached her hand out to mine and I held her tight in return. Hey Violet, you really gave them a great show today, you know? I couldn't have done that without my ever so charming television host. We walked uh, we walked along the beach, our feet bare in the inv inviting war of the ocean. Really, I, I'm so grateful for you, Fisher. Last night, finding out what my parents did, I, that was the lowest point I've ever, ever been to. I held that hand even tighter. Honestly, I mean, honestly, I didn't see a way out, escaping the island or, or not. Everything seemed like dead end. But today, you have to remember that even without them, I've still got me. And I like me quite a bit. You really are incredible, Violet. That was all of you. Well, that was all you, I mean. With you. Violet mumbled something under her breath. So, what was that? Ah, uh, sorry, let me try again. I know, I've, I know I've been fine on my own, but I'd like to be better if I was with you. When we go out there, I hope you, I hope you join me for that, 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 that cruise. She kissed me again. It felt like magic. Violet, I... She put her finger against my lips. Shh. I know it's not quite the time for the com this conversation yet, but please do remember that what I've said. When this is all over, do you mind if we walk for just a little longer? I didn't want this to end. Um, I'm uh, what? I'm walking with you along. So, if so, I'd walk with you for as long as you want to, Violet. We can walk till the sun comes up. I'm reading it in her voice. We can talk about anything and anything. So how about we start with the planning of our crew together? That would be lovely. We walk together to the end of the dead of, the dead of night. But nothing less than magical. Am I reading this shit today? I don't know what's going on. Just after we came back, a huge door hit outside. We just missed it. Hope you two enjoyed your day today. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's time we get this show on the road. 
Ali took out the master key from the pocket, span it around the ring with her. Wait, fuck. Ali took out the master key from the mo- from the pocket, from her pocket, span it around the ring with her finger, then put it in the locked door. And we're in. She turned the lock, then pulled the door open. Whoa, the door's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Must be soundproof or something. Whatever, let's go. Oh man, not another staircase. They, that, they would have saved so much money if they just put this on the main floor. But it wouldn't be very secret then, would it? Secret? Scrimcret? It's behind a locked door. I guess you have a point. Though, though there was not, I don't know, though there's another staircase, it wasn't nearly as long as the one to the lab. We've been walking down the steps for only a few moments when we saw what they, where they led. This has to be it. Whoa, what's going on in the back? It's another laboratory, what the fuck? What's it? A while back, Kat told me that all the information on the island was stored in books. They didn't use anything digital or with the internet. I think I remember that too. But it's bullshit. Then evil corporation in, intent on the world domination. So intent on world domination through fear and control. Of course they have the internet. And I think we've just found found a way into their closets. Skeletons and all. Sounds like a pretty big deal. That's an understatement. The information hit in here could change the tide of the, uh, the tide of the war. It could give the resist, uh, resistors a real fighting chance, I think. But there's more than that too. What do you mean? My dad, my mom, and my brother got an got taken by these guys a long time ago. I don't even know if they are still alive. I was, oh, they got my camera. I'll be back. I was too long, I was too young to really understand what was happening. If there's anything that could help me find them again, or at least find out what happened to them, it's in this computer. That was the real reason I came here. The whole reason I risk everything, I... What if it doesn't have what if I'm looking for? What if... Ali? Yuri ran to Ali's side and hugged her tightly. It's going to be okay. You believe in me, right? She took deep breaths. I'm... I'm sorry. You had to see that. I'm okay now. Thanks, Yuri. I didn't do anything. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, hold on. my doubts of Ali are starting to slowly fade away. I don't know, I think I was, I was tripping last episode, actually, I can't lie, I was tripping. I looked to Violet and as Ali prepared to turn the computer on, she looked as concerned as I did, but we couldn't let it show. The screen lit up with a single mess with a single message. Password required. Done, it gets a fucking corporation. Well, I did think it wasn't going to go that smoothly. I'm not giving up just yet though. She tried a few different passwords on the keyboard, but none of them worked. Damn it! I bet, it, I bet only Damien and Kat know this, and there's no way we could just ask them. Silence fell upon the room. It can't end like this, it, it just can't. I've got an idea. It's not only going to involve Westing zombies again, is it? Hey, I've had better ideas than that. What I mean to say is that I think I have a way to crack the code. I'm a programmer. That's right. I can make something that could try all the possibilities for the password. It would take some time, especially if it locks me out after too many attempts, but eventually I'd get the password, though there's no guarantee we'd get the answer before the show is over. It's a lot better to shot. It's, it's a lot better of a shot than I thought we had. I didn't run over to Terra and hugged her tightly. Thank you. You're awesome, you little you. Uh, this is nice. Feel free to compliment me more. <laughs> In the meantime, the rest of us can try and figure out what the password could be as well. That reminds me. I need to tell you guys something important. What's that? I have our escape plan.
like this all my ass music bro she took out the master key and held it out to us to see yeah the hidden hangar i found by the beach just a little further from where i was just sort of where i found the first plane shit now that we have this key and we now know that how it works we can use it to disable the hangar's security commander plane then fly the hell out of here he practically jumps for joy i mean in my head i can't believe it we're almost out of here it's been a long time coming well soon well soon but not just yet with this, this storm raging there's no way we're getting out anywhere tonight lots of us or oh, least of all off the ground but if we if there's clear skies tomorrow night that'll be where we'll be what about the computer i mean what about the computer don't she need to crack it before we go yeah what about your family well that'd be the ideal case but honestly i've I've gone to know you guys and care about you guys and I I've decided that if it's important to save the people I care about that are right in front of me then then chase a pipe dream no I won't I won't accept it if I were in your shoes and I was looking for my sisters and I just gave up looking for them I'd wait forever and I know you would too but I, but I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer we're in danger if we stay here Yui speaks for us too I mean Yui speaks for us too to have our family that you really care about and that cares about you too you can't give the up on that we're, we're not going anywhere until we crack that code even if it takes till the last day you guys no I can't follow I can't allow it I won't take the chance with the, your lives. Come on, bro. I'm not backing down on this. What do you think, Fesho? We need to take this chance. Oh, we can't take this risk. Oh. Shit. First important choice in like a while. Um. Me personally. We can take this risk. We need to take this chance. We can't take this risk. I mean, that depends. What do you mean? Like, does this mean freaking take a chance to get out of here, or like we don't take the chance to get out of here? And then everyone else is saying like, Hold on, I'm gonna hit a little, I'm gonna hit a little save real quick, just in case. I'm pretty sure we can't take the risk is to get out of here. I don't. Guys, guys, take a chill pill for a second. I'm a poor gaming god, best of the best. I'm going to have the code cracked by tomorrow, and that's a promise. So don't worry, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much, really. Why are you thinking? Of, why are you thinking all of this? I'm the one who has to write the code and shit. We laughed together, something that I thought might have been impossible after the initial bad news. Rimming it together, and we're getting out of it together. No one gets left behind. After recording at night, I laid in the bed, deep in thought. Who would have thought I could have ended today feeling inspired? After everything that happened last night, just like thinking my project be inspired, go, go listen to that. We've got this. We. Fesho, one more thing before we turn in for the night. What's up, Toa? I got up in the heat of the moment earlier and. Oh no. I've got no idea. No, 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 no. I don't like where this is going. How how to do this, because. I remember that all I know about hacking are videos of people trying. typing really fast and saying, I'm in, and. I practically flew out of bed. Thank God it was a nightmare. It's a very, very weird nightmare. What does it take to get a good night's sleep on a killer dating show? Come on, man.
What are you smiling about? Uh, yesterday with Violet. <laughs> it just feels like things are going my way lately. Yesterday, yesterday's date with Violet still has me feeling giddy as a little kid. It's almost like, I mean, <clears throat> it's almost like there's perks of being on a killing dating show. Well, don't get too comfortable. You still got a few days left, and then it's back to the the regular. I'm looking forward to that. I bet. But it's sooner than later. You cost too much to keep around. Anyway, the million dollar question. Who's today's lucky girl? That'll be... Whoever. So... So today, tomorrow is going to be either Terror or Ali. Hmm, it's probably best we go with Terror. Yes, but... Doesn't Terror need time to crack the code? That's a good point. Nah, I already finished making the code breaker. It's trying every password as we speak. No guarantee it'll finish before we both done our dates, but it's worth a shot. Thank you, Terra. Don't worry about it. Besides, I think it's better if we save our date for last. Why is that? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You're some super spy from some super secret organization. He definitely got a bigger heist potential than I do. I don't know what about that, but it sounds good to me. I used the time to prepare some contingency plans. Scarlet, Violet, Yui, I'm gonna need you guys for this. Or need you guys for this. I'm happy to provide assistance. You bet. I help you answer. I help answer her. Oh, fuck you. I My brain's just not working today, but I am so sorry. Sweet. All right. Uh, all right, Fisher. What's up? I didn't just child. I just just built a code breaker. I built a game that works with it too. What do you mean? She handed me her console. But how long has it been since I actually had a conversation with this woman by herself? The women that me trying to go for this entire game, and then cat fucking cock blocking me, shafting me, making us fade apart and shit. No matter how much you, uh, memory you erase, you can't erase the tension in the air. Stay woke. And I literally forgot how to do a voice, dude, because it's been that long. I just ripped it up real quick. It looks like a cold baking game, but really, it works directly with the computer we found. If you get the password right in this game, we'll have access to the computer. Makes sense? Amazing! I can't believe you ripped up something so fast. It wasn't hard. It was just a big middle finger to my mom, who thought all my screen time was a waste of time. Anyway, I figured we could play this game here and then during our date, try, for, uh, try whatever password comes to mind. Obviously, not for the whole right date, we could ratings and all, but as much as we can. It's not like a plan, come on, let's not have doubts now, bro. Wahaha! I'm a genius, for show! She cracked, she crackled man, medically. You are. Alrighty. I like to spend today with Sarah. Is that so? We'll make it happen. Try to not to spend all day playing games, though, believe it or not. That isn't what viewers want in a prime time slot. No promises, but I'll try my best. It ain't much, but I'll take that. Sorry, cat. That's pretty much the plan. Hey, Fesho, you up for the, some games? I'd love to, but <clears throat> Cat wants us to do some other games. It is sweet. There's no stopping Terra when she puts her mind on something. We started playing together in the other um, in the games room while making pleasant conversation. Normal enough to seem like a regular conversation, cryptic enough to disguise that what we were doing or trying to do. Even if Terra and I never went on crazy adventures like I did with Ali, it didn't make moments with her any less special. If I forgot that we are trying to hack into some confidential database, this really is like a fun day at home with your partner. How about Terra's the best? It was a shot. Nope. Doesn't work. The nerve of them. Terror rules. That's a miss. Was the T capitalized? Maybe add 0123 at the end of it. Thank goodness we will have the code break of one in the, in the background. Time to switch gears. Let's give Cat some footage to work with to keep us alive. Good God! For sure, why the sun? Ah! Go without me. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. 
no, she's just like me for real. Some way or another, we were, we were always, we always end up back inside the mansion, huh? And there's nothing wrong with that. I guess you're right. Oh, for a few more rounds of that game we just played? Sure. How about Damien Black sucks? Oh shit. Nope, that doesn't work. Cat Black sucks. Not that either. How about Fesho? Oh come on, you're just guessing. Like I wasn't before? Well, I'll, I'll try it. The two of us looked at each other like deer in headlights. What? Which had us our favorite team just won at the sporting event. Wait a minute. Why would the password be your name? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I don't know, I fucked that up. My guess is as good as yours. Maybe we'll find out tonight. I hope so. Well, I think I've had enough games for today. I never thought I'd hear you say that to her. I'm full of surprises. We can spend we can spread the good news after. How about we try something new today? Something outside. Sound like a plan to me. Awesome, let's go! We ended up going back inside a minute later, but the rest of the day with Tara was still a lot of fun. I think I'm gonna suggest outside then. Go straight inside after. Like what the fuck bro. And we're in! The boss of pump closing closed with satisfying ding ding. Whoa! There's a lot of stuff in here. Why would there be a folder called homework? Whoa, that, that is definitely a porn folder name. Terra was about to open it until Ali intervened. Do you mind if I look, take a look? Uh forget why we were here for a second, sure. Let's see. Ali started going through folders, databases, web reports, anything that would be useful. At the same time, Terra started downloading all of the files on her console. Doesn't look like there's anything here about why my name was the password. Hmm. What the rest of us could do is was give Ali and Terra the space they needed. Seems like it's only going to be up from here, team. But I have it in my normal voice, my fault. I was worried for Ali, especially if we couldn't get into the computer, but it looks like we got it after all. It's, it's too soon to say anything, but I do hope you're right. Let's not jinx it. So what's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to do when we're out of here? I thought we were weren't going to jinx it. I'm going to get straight back to the helping people. Oh shit, my fault. The, the way I know best. Nothing changed in the way that regard. That is a lonely, also a lovely aspiration. Do me a favor and make sure your in inventions don't get used on yourself again, okay? I mean, it's not like I was trying to. I admire how you can be so sure. As, ex as excited as I am to leave this place, I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing after. That's totally okay, Violet. I mean, that's totally okay, Violet. That, that's part of the fun of life. Just figuring out as you go. I... I suppose so. Violet looked at me and smiled. That's pretty much my plan at this point too. Guess who's back, bit? What Till wants to say is we did it. <laughs> I've got everything I need to help to turn the tide of the war and I know what, well, no, where my family is and they're alive. I'd never seen Hattie so happy. She jumped towards me and hugged me. Oof. That's fantastic. That's such a relief. At this point, my character just thinking it's five times more at this point, like they said. I'm so happy for Yali. Good job, at Terra. Good job, Terra. You cracked the codes. Not all at once now. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. We didn't have to wait this long to leave, but you guys did it for me and my family. I can't ever thank you enough. She pulled out the master key from her back pocket and swirled it around in her hand. Right hand. You guys ready to get out of here? Actually, I was thinking of staying here for the rest of my life. Not having internet is the best thing ever. I couldn't agree more. Uh, 
Uh, let's get out of here. After you, buddy. We follow the alley out of dimension to the forest and to the hangar. Whoa! I did not see this. Granted, I don't go outside. I don't blame you. It's pretty much out, out of the way. Not that we have to worry about it now. I did put out the master key and swallowed it in her right hand. That's like the third time this nigga said this shit. She walked to the door to the hangar and put it in the key put the key into its lock. She tried to turn it but it didn't work. She tried a few more times but the lock refused to budge. She would be ah oh, it's too easy man, it's too easy. I, I don't understand. I've seen cat use this key everywhere, including here. They must have changed the locks. Does that mean we're stuck here? I don't it, it was where that Ellie tripped over oh there goes my fucking battery. It was where that Ellie tripped over her words. It hurt to see her so defeated. I don't know. An uncomfortable silence fell over us. Am I going to die here? Are all of us? I No! We're not going we're not wait shit. No, we are not out of this just yet. I have to give up again. But we can't get into the hangar. There's no way to break in without triggering the alarms. For now, yes. But getting in later? A different story. If I remember correctly, whenever you went on a third day with the fresh show, you fly in a plane together. Well, I'm assuming the plane was you two. It's just like you two try something crazy and drag in fresh air. I can't refuse that. That was definitely us. How, how we never died on the on those plane rides, I'll never know. That means the staff, the staff don't mind if you take the plane during the date, which means we should be able to ask for the key temporarily. Pardon me. We still be able to. We still be able to get the plane. It just has to be during the sh tomorrow's date. There'd be the way more staff around than usual, but we'll still have a chance. Exactly! The rest of us can relatively close or so can be relatively close by. Fucking hell. Exactly! The rest of us can be relatively close by. Perhaps on the at the beach to avoid suspicion. Then when you get out, get to the plane. Or so but then when you get to the plane, when we run, we run over you pick us up and we run out of here. This could work. It's better than how my plan turned out anyway. I mean, anyway, fuck, I'm getting these voices confused. I was right for a second, but it was for nothing. We've got this. We'd be in a tight spot without you. It's been a team effort. But without each of us here, we'd be stuck here with no chance to escape. I'm sure. <clears throat> Speak for yourself. I'm sure I could get out of here on my own. Yeah. You were shut down the second you reached the beach, though. On second thought, maybe teamwork can make the dream work. We laughed together. The movie was infinitely better than they were just a few moments ago. We spent the rest of the night talking through the details of the plan, including what we'd do if the unexpected happened. One thing was for sure, though. We weren't giving up on getting out of here. It all ends tomorrow. Not, 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 not in talking to John Cena song. Damn. What do you know, Fesho? You actually made it to the last one on one date. How are you feeling? Pretty good. I'm getting the fuck out of here, hopefully. Honestly, pretty good. I'm excited to see how a day with Ellie would be. Oh, you got a real surprise in store. She has all of us in the crew working extra hard to prepare a special date for you. And, and by all of us in the crew, I mean the Brothers Five. How about you go find us, spend some time to get us while we set things up for you? It's not like a pan cat. Let's see. Oh, looks like she's by the beach. Guess that's where I'm headed. Don't, don't do anything we can't. Yeah. Murder is okay, but good God forbid some, someone takes their top off. Wow. My reading has... I reached the cat as I went on my way. 
Just as Kat said, Ali was by the beach. She was looking out for the ocean. Morning, Ali. For sure, it's always nice to see you. The difference between Ali's voice during the day and night was like... Day and night. Oh, I get it. <laughs> day and night. I was... I guess we could have... We guess. I guess we... Oh, my, that threw me off. I guess we do have to worry about the cameras, but still, it takes some getting used to. I know it's going to be tough to top your previous dates with all the other girls, but I think I have a good shot. I'm going to look forward to it, Ali. You better be. We've been saving the best for last. She reached out for my hand. Walk me. I reached for her hand outstretched. I reached for her outstretched hand. It'll be my pleasure. The best. The two of us walked around the beach for a while, getting to know each other. Quote unquote. So, what will you be doing when the show's over? First thing I'm going to say is, I'm hey to my family again, and make them a nice dinner. I'm sure they've gone sick with worry in the week since I've been gone. I wonder what what they're thinking now. It's been at least two years since then. Cal was right. Sometimes not remembering is a blessing. I doesn't have that luxury. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Come on. She pulled me along by the hand into the forest. I have to say, Ali really impressed me. Of course, it was her deliberate plan to come into the forest and get to the hangar, but she made it seem so spontaneous. You're going to love it. I saw it. I saw it the same moment she did. It was all we could do was stand and watch. No! She staggered and almost fell. What the fuck happened? And who could blame her? <gasps> no way! The hangar was engulfed in roaring flames! The heat was incredible. There was no way either of us could take another step forward to the hike step toward the hangar without being burned alive. The stench of burning oil assaulted me without mercy. We were at loss for words. And in front of all those flames was her. Walking away from the flames. Somehow I just knew it was her. Sorry Ali, Fesho. There's been a small change of plans. I'm sure you can tell but we've hit a few snags with the hangar. How about you two spend your spend your t oh my fuck? How about you two spend your day on the ground instead? I want to scream. I want to attack her with every bone in my body. Why is this a fucking choice? I mean, I could rather be Chris Brown or. I mean, shit. I'm trying to think. Does she know our plan? Because she knows our plan. What's, the, what's, what's attacking I'm gonna do actually? What's actually attacking I'm gonna do? But I can't. I can't or I'd be killed. That too. And not just me, but everyone else. Exactly. But I just don't be impulsive, you know what I mean? To hold myself back from giving away what this plane meant to me took all the strength I had. I need to calm down. Cat might be able to read my face and see that. Sound fine to me, Cat. I'm just glad you're safe. What happened? We're still looking into it. Well, either way, there's nothing we can do about that. How about we go somewhere else for sure? She reached out for my hand and held it tight. How could she smell like this at me? Of course, Ali. No way, bro. For the rest of the day, Ali and I put on the performance of a light time. But this, this face is so evil, bro. Though our faces were all smiles and laughter, we knew now more than ever that we were trapped in Cat's Macbo puppet show. And Cat loved to make us dance. She must have known we were trying to escape, but how? Did we make a mistake? Did Four give us away? Should we ever have trusted him in the first place? How can I trust? Who can I trust now? Time is ticking, and the end of the show looms closer and closer. It's time I'm supposed to meet with the group, but what would we even do? There's no way we can escape. 
a last chance die with the hanger should I just make a break for it no I never make it and the others would suffer for my mistake what do I do you don't look so good Fesher I've been better cat it hasn't exactly been sunshine and rainbows today you really aren't much of acting are you Fesher look I already know I already know about you and your plan to escape my blood ran cold so she did know you know take the plane fly away from here it wasn't hard to figure out I tried to do something in my defense but my voice wouldn't come out it was all I could do was just stand wide eyed I know I know you were hold on, I know you and the others found the lab got your memories back well at least the others did and I know that every night you all work together to find a way out I mean of course I know I'm the reason why you got this far what do you mean just follow me you save all all of us time we walked down to the locker room near the games room she took out the master key and spun it around you never really thought a bunny could take a key from me, right? Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. She opened the door. The others were inside looking at me surprised as I was. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, cat. How about two? First, you're inside the... First, your inside man was never four, it was me. I mean, come on. He wouldn't be smart enough for something like this. Second, you only ever had a chance of escaping this island because of me. Newsflash, Ali. Those tanks would just bug out. Would never bug out. Blah, 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 bug out. You're the one who let me out of, the, out of my tank. The one and only. Ali was the. <clears throat> I was at a lot of words, and I was no different. What do you want, Cat? Honestly? The same as you guys. I want off this crazy train. I want out. I want you guys to in include me in your little escape plan. What? Do I have something on my face? As hard as it is to believe, the list of people who want to stay on this island is pretty short. Hell no, we can't trust you. I'm not sure how, but I remember. I remember I tried to escape with you before. I trusted you. I even fell for you. Even five girls isn't enough. Unbelievable. And then you betrayed me and shot me. Who shot you? Stop separate the... <laughs> There's no way we could ever trust you. You're just gonna stab us in the back. Is that a true cat? I mean, is that a true cat? I'm ashamed to say it. I'm ashamed to say it is, but I didn't have a choice. You know how it is with Damien. It doesn't matter if you share the same blood. You take the people you know and love hostage, and use them to force you to dance to a tune. I'm sorry I betrayed you, Fisher. I really am. But if I had to do it again. I'd do it again in a heartbeat, but because there was someone I need to sa needed to save. I know I must look like the villain to you, but believe me, I have people I care about too. If you're so compassionate, wait, I mean, if you're so compassionate, how come you burn up our only way out of here? You're lucky I did, for sure. If you'd actually flown as planned, you'd all be at the bottom of the ocean right now. What do you mean? It's a cruel cool trick of Damon's. He knew there was a chance that people on this island show, this island show would recover this, their memories and try to escape. So he made us build the hangar and the plane. It's the one place anyone trying to escape would go. 
Exactly. I've told you in the past, Ali. Never fly the plane or take the boat out of sight of this island. If you did, I mean, if you did, you have blown up like fireworks. The Ali and I were in the plane, which was a little more than a flying death trap, set and chilled down my spine. Look, the simple reality is, you need me to escape. Without me, you won't even make it past the barrier. What barrier? Exactly. And though I hate it, I need you guys to help me and my... Us to escape. Here, yeah, Black will feed me for a second. She reached her hand towards me for a handshake. Alice? Let's discuss this first. Cat leaned against the wall while the rest of us debated what to do. Can we really trust her? This might just be another trap. It's not like I'd be the first by her about when it is. It's not like it'd be the first by her you fall into, Fresher. You're right. She said it's not like we have much to lose at this point. Even if she'd done terrible things to us in the past, we still need her to escape. You alright, Ali? I'm fine. I'm just angry at myself. Hey, don't beat yourself up about it. We're still alive. That's what counts. You're right. You know... You're right, you know. I'm... I'm not sure how I'm feeling right now either, but we're alive. That counts for something. You're right, Fesho. And as much as I hate to say it, I think we will need Kat's help. Trustworthy or not, if you want to stay out, stay that way. But we have to trust her, but we need to keep our eye on her. Yo, I think I'm just gonna end it here, bro. I'm gonna end it there, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like if you want to see more, hit the sub button. And yo, okay. So much to like unpack in this episode, dog. You know, we, you know, I mean, find the information about Ali's family, their life. Terra hacks the computer before that, I mean, legit. And then we're like, yeah, damn, yeah. The plane's on the hangar, we can just go and escape and shit. Just, and then next thing, you know, next day we go to the hangar, bitch, let that shit on fire. And now Cat's like, knew the whole time that we were fucking planning to escape and then and then she was, now is like yeah let's go I'm, I'm gonna show you how I know to go take us down to the lab and she's all like I want to escape with you guys too shit is crazy check out you know saying we inspired if you haven't already and yeah that EP um you know what I mean I said I was gonna do I'm going to push that back for another time I'm gonna I'm working on something better actually that I think you guys are gonna fuck with more honestly so yeah good look out for that peace out everyone have a good day fish show out of here